Hello, this is Warwick, and today we're going to have a look at loan origination. So it happens in the loan application tab, so let's just uh, click on that. And we come to the uh, screen, we can view other applications, but if we're creating a new application, click on the new button. And this brings us to the screen where we can capture the information that we require for our business. Now, in this demo instance, we've got various fields here. We can build these fields and include whatever information you like. So uh, all the way through to ACH, which is the automated clearing house where we can automatically capture bank details to be able to disperse the loan and for the borrower to repay the loan. So we've got uh, all this information here. The red ones are the required fields. So let's just click on the loan product and we'll pick the P2P lending product. So we click on this. We can uh, see what type of product that we'd like to make. So let's say installment and we can capture other information if we like, but we do have to put in the required fields. So let's add this interest rate, just we'll make it 10%. We'll make the term 12 months, loan amount 1000, and we'll select the payment frequency as monthly. And we need to select the contact who we're giving this loan to. I'll make it to James. And we won't bother filling in this other information except for the paycheck frequency. We will make this monthly as well. And we'll just save this. We now can see that the loan application has data in it now, the type of loan product, the contract, personal information and whatever other details that we've captured in that origination phase. If we go to the calculator, we can do some what if scenarios. So for example, if we wanted to change the term to let's say 14 months, at the moment we've got 12 months and you can see here in the amateurization schedule, month one down through to month 12 and the payment zero. And we just need to save this. So we save it and we just press on calculator again. And now when we come down and have a look at the amateurization schedule, we can see that we've gone from month one through to month 14. And we can see that the amount changed from, it was previously $87 odd. Now it's repayment is just 75 47 and moving down to completely paying the loan off. So this could be on your website for your own clients to do some what if scenarios to see what term um, fits them, suits them. We can change interest rates as well. And it can also be used by your loan officers. In addition, we have the contract documents where we can attach files. They could scan that file put it on their computer, pick the file up here and attach the file. And then we've got all the loan application documents sitting in this loan application tab. So just to recap, we created a new loan application and this is the loan application that we created. So if I click on this, it shows the uh, application and we can see that at the moment it's just a, a partial application and it captures all the details that we need to uh, capture. For this example, we can uh, fund the loan by clicking here, and we can now see that the loan was successfully created. And if we go to our lending tab, and we'll view the loans, we see that here's our James Martin loan, and we'll click on it. And now we have this loan 
for $1,000. The amount of current is zero because we've only just created the loan. We've got our payment amount. And we can see importantly in the status that it is active and in good standing. In this lending account tab, we can see all the details of the loan, the contract, any activity, account balances, if there's been any delinquent dues. There's also the payment tolerance and grace period, charge off details, pre-penalty payment, amortization, the ACH, and even just a one-time ACH. And we have the ability to capture this credit bureau um, reporting information, co-borrowers, payoff quote, aging history, and any approval history. So this is all captured here in the uh, lending when we're looking at the lending account. So this is just walked through the an example of using the loan application tab in the origination and bypassing the approval process just for this example so we could quickly and easily create this loan. Thank you.